This is my micro germination chamber. It's designed to germinate bell pepper seeds and then I'll use it for tomatoes and some squash seeds later on. In the past I've built germination chambers that use the sand and uh, uh, de-icing cable successfully with cool weather crops like lettuces and brassicas but I need something that's going to have a little bit higher humidity higher temperature so I've settled on this design this is um, after looking at some of the commercial designs the large scale and the smaller scale versions of this this is a micro scale built for got a two dollar um, plastic tub that I bought at a second hand store leftovers from a 72 flat or a 128 uh, cell tray and uh two old bricks from my yard. I'm just gonna show you. The only part that I did have to purchase for this is this is an aquarium heater. I bought it for $12 on eBay. Link in the description, obviously. And um, this is gonna set in there and uh, it's gonna maintain the water. It has a temperature reading and because bell peppers need it to be about 85 degrees, I'm gonna set it to germinate, I should say. It needs to be about 85 to germinate. Um, I'm gonna set it to 89. Uh, because the ambient temperature is going to be around 70 degrees where this is going to be housed. I'll have it in my uh, dining room on a shelf. And um, so we'll set it to 89. As soon as the plants germinate, we'll be uh, moving them outside into a place where they have light because uh, germination chamber, we don't need light to germinate them. So I can just go ahead and the lid will go on like so. It'll be filled with water. Um, but in order for them to grow and not get leggy, they need light as soon as they hatch. So I'll be checking them daily pulling them out, and as soon as those seeds are sprouted, uh, then they'll be going out into some larger cells. So there's my water bath germination chamber idea. Again, just a little plastic tub, aquarium heater to control, and then uh, bricks to make sure it's setting up off the water.